friends, my name is Jana Eubank. Today I'm going to be creating a pocket page layout using the Pocket Life Kit and mixing in some other items as well, of course. And I'm going to be scrapbooking our Christmas during COVID in the year 2020. During that year, we just had a bunch of random snapshots. We didn't get out and do a lot of Christmas things. So honestly, I've been kind of putting off scrapbooking them because the pictures aren't that exciting. But I thought a pocket page uh, spread would be the perfect solution for that. So I'm using some pocket pages. These ones are by American Crafts. They're just in my stash. I don't even think these are for sale anymore. So I tried to look around to see if there was something similar online. I did find some by scrapbook.com for their 9 by 12 albums that actually fold out on this last row. I don't know what the gutter style is like, if it's a double seam or how they actually do that fold because I don't have any 9 by 12 albums, but that would be a solution. Or you could just put these, if you want to replicate it, put these on um, a piece of 12 by 12 paper. So I have some plain cardstock placed in the pocket so that you could see the three four by six, and then we have six three by fours. I just have some sticky notes of where I want to put my photos. So I'm going to do a front, a double page spread, and then a back because that's how it would look in my album. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my photos and cut them all down and mat them on probably white cardstock if I need to in some places, and then we'll get started. So I'm playing this bit video back and doing a voiceover for it. And my plan was initially to show you all three spreads, the front spread, the double inside spread, and the back spread. But I always forget how long pocket pages take. I always think initially that they're going to save me time, but I like to embellish them and have fun on them, just like I do regular pages. So this video with all three of those spreads ended up being quite long. So I did, I am going to split it into three different videos. So for today, I'm just going to show you the process for this front page. Uh, watch out for the double inside spread on the 25th of December. I'll be sharing that then. Uh, but let's go ahead and start. So I'm going to start this layout just by getting my colors uh, for the background of each little section figured out. So I've placed out down the cards from the pocket life kit that I want to use. And then I've just left a white border around each of those photos because I do print at home. Some of them I am going to mat. For example, that zoom screen, I did double mat with the fuzzy pink cardstock from the cardstock kit. And then this photo of my kitty sleeping in a box, I'm using one of the chipboard frames from the chipboard die cuts to frame that in and bring it in a little tighter and just cut out the extra flaps of the box. I placed an acrylic block on that so that liquid glue could dry. And while that's drying, I'm gonna move on over and do some other embellishing. So I'm flipping through the cardstock die cuts right now to find some um, something to accent on these photos. Now, I don't print my photos a full four by six. I always like to have a little bit of pattern in each of my pockets. I just think it's cute and colorful. And so uh, I don't try to mat or I guess shrink down my photos proportionate because I'm okay to have extra um, room on the sides. That always gives me a little space to do some embellishing. And you can see that on that picture of my daughter with her choir friends. I've just pushed that three and a half by five photo over towards the right. And then I have a little bit of space on the left to embellish. And that's where I put the Christmas tree. And then I have a little chipboard phrase there. So now that my photo is dry with this cat, I'm just going to trim around and trim off the excess. And I place that onto a piece of the craft cardstock. Now it felt a little blank to me. So um, I did find a a pocket life card that had like a library pattern in white and I think that just that little bit of a white background lined background behind that cat photo just really made that pop and made that feel a lot better I'm going to mat this other choir photo onto a piece of uh, a three by four piece of the six by eight paper from the pocket life kit and I'll come back and play with that some more but for now I'm going to move up to this title card now on each page that I do with a pocket page spread I try to have you know, resting spots. I don't want to fill every single square with a photo. So in the upper left corner, I have that title card. I'm placing that chipboard fa -la, la along with some die cut ornament pieces. And then I'll place a journal card. And then I, I just, like I mentioned before, I'm placing my photos on two pieces of pattern paper just because I love the color that that brings in to the layout. And I just think it looks really nice. So I did accent that kitty photo with some of the floral stickers from the sticker book. That's from the embellishment pack. And 
now I'm pulling out another sticker to accent the zoom photo at the bottom left corner of the page. Uh, I am going to bring in some trim and tie some around the choir photo, just tie it into a bow. I love this baker's twine that is with the trim pack in the main kit this month. It has a little bit of a silver thread running through it uh, and it's just a fun sparkly accent for the holidays. So I'm going to tie that around the bottom of that photo. I'll bring that in that same twine in in a couple of other places as well. Now I wanted a little something to fill the space of that upper right, um, blank space in that upper right of that corner. So I grabbed one of the little die cuts and uh, just stapled that on there. That's from the pocket life kit. I'm gonna go ahead and staple my twine down so that when I slide it into the pocket, it won't move and um, we'll keep designing. So I'm going to pop up those ornaments and get the chipboard, uh, title into place and then I'm going to bring in the year using the puffy alpha stickers from the main kit. Now they didn't quite show up on that plaid background so I decided to grab one of the little book plate die cuts from the pocket life kit and I'm going to use that to anchor that year. So I'll just tuck the left hand side underneath that ornaments. I like everything to kind of touch so that it feels connecting and then I'll place the year 2020 on here. Now, like I mentioned before, we didn't have a lot of exciting things happen that year. It was kind of a bummer overall, but we did try to celebrate and I, I have to give kudos to my daughter's that choir teacher, she tried to have, you know, the, my daughter was in the specialty choir where they get to wear these adorable Victorian costumes. And on a normal year, they perform in lots of places like hotels and downtown, and they get invited to all kinds of places to sing because of their cute outfits. Now, because of COVID, they didn't have very many places to sing this year, but she still wanted the girls, and well, there's boys too, to have a, a good experience. And so she organized several outdoor concerts on her own so that these kids could have people to sing for. So this this first performance was just outside in a church parking lot. People just drove up their cars and listened to them sing. She organized another one at a city where people drove by <laughs> really slow with their windows down so they could hear them sing. And I just thought it was so cute. So I love that we had these photos and it's kind of sad. I look at them and I remember, you know, asking them, hey, can you take your masks off so I can get a picture of your face? And they kind of looked at each other like they were in trouble if they took their masks off. And I'm like, we're outside it'll be okay and you know that's just kind of a sad thing that happened during the pandemic is we were all nervous and all scared but I'm really glad that I made them take their masks off because those cute smiles you just can never get back and those are the memories you want to remember not the masks right so you saw that I accented another photo in the lower right corner with some more stickers and die cuts the die cut was from the pocket life kit and then the I did add in some more sticker flowers from the sticker book from the embellishment kit. I'm now coming back in and I'm going to do some stamping using the two ink pads that came uh, with the color kit this month. I have a larger one of one of the colors just because I had it. So this is the skylight color. It's beautiful. It matches the evergreen color of the um, like that dark teal green color in the kit perfectly. And then there is the dosi -si dough, -si -do, which is pink. I'm also bringing in a little bit of gray and then I have a little small one by one cube ink pad that's red. So I'll be uh, I stamped that Merry Christmas in both the skylight and the gray, and then I'm stamping a little poinsettia flower using the red and the pink. I tried to like offset them from one another to look like it had more petals. It didn't turn out very great because I just wasn't paying close enough attention, I guess. But it's cute. It adds a little bit of color to the top of that pink card. I did stamp the Tis the Season phrase in the lower right corner of the poinsettia 3x4 card, and now I'm adding a phrase and this 12 Days of Christmas title here in red at the top of the green card. I thought even though I'm not doing the 12 days of Christmas on this layout because we have choir pictures and they often sing that song, I thought it worked well. So I'm going to come back in and add a little puffy phrase sticker, that yellow one there uh, on the choir photo. I'm going to add a little more yellow around the page as well. So here's one of the uh, ornament stickers from the sticker book that I'm going to add to the top and I'm just covering up the right side um, hole of that little book plate. Also, I like the um, 
you know, the rule of odds with accents. So I have three ornaments, which makes it feel a little better there. I did accent that yellow one with a pink floral sticker. And now I'm adding in a couple of the chipboard stars. Those came from the chipboard buttons pack from the embellishment kit. Now I wanted to add some more accents down here on this zoom photo. So I die cut a couple of pine branches from the evergreen cardstock. I'm going to layer those together and just tuck those behind that flower sticker. And that just makes that fill a little bit larger. And I'll add a little, some more accents down there as well. Now I did add a piece of that twine to the top of the blush tag on that zoom photo. And I also wanted to add some of the twine up to, on the top to the ornaments. So I just tied a bow and I'm just, um, sticking it right to the front of that ornament. And I think that looks cute. So we have twine in three places and it's just fun to bring that little bit of softness. Now I'm loving the silver accents throughout this collection. And these puffy stickers that came in the main kit have all of these fun little tiny foily dots. And so I'm going to use those like you would an enamel dot and just kind of accent a few places. So I'm adding a few up by the cat picture. I'm going to add a few more around these chipboard stars. And then I believe I add a few more down by the flowers on that sunset picture. Now I didn't tell you what that sunset picture is. It's kind of a funny story. Every day I would come home from simple stories and I would stop and get my mail and my mailbox is kind of far from my house. So I have to, I have to get out and use a key and get him out. Well, I kept hearing this noise and I look over at the trees by our mailbox and there's these little baby raccoons hanging out in the trees and they were there every single night. I think their mama kind of dropped them off there while she went to forage for food. And, you know, I don't know, I guess told them to stay there to, for safekeeping. So I looked, they actually hung out there for several weeks and it was kind of fun to look for them and and just see them I don't know dangle there and kind of scurry around those branches it was actually kind of funny and I haven't seen it ever since I've lived in my house 15 years and that's the first time I've ever seen that happen so it kind of gave me a giggle all right I added a chipboard flag to the top of that raccoon photo raccoon slash sunset photo I'm going to stamp the word memories onto that label that I had down there I'm going to add a little bit more color around the phrase on that green card by stamping some pink stars and that almost wraps it up I'm going to accent that little flag with another little die cut I believe I land on a snow like circle from the pocket life kit. I did add that joy to the world pink ornament to the right of the zoom photo as well. And that finishes this pocket style page out. So again, this is the pocket life kit from the November, 2023 hip kits, beautiful colors. I love the softness of them. I love that there's red and green, but you also have the um, blue and pink tones as well. Be sure to check it out. Now, normally this kit, you can subscribe to it in a combo that is sold out at the moment. So if you want to get the pocket life kit and the stamps, you have to purchase them separately. And I believe both of them are low on stock right now. Okay, guys, my name is Jenna. You make Watch for my double page spread coming the 25th, and we'll see you next time.